Hi, my name is David Rosado, and I'm going to present to you uh, a system that we have developed at the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid to control a computer using gaze gestures within the realm of video-based gaze tracking. For this setup uh, and demonstration, we use the open source uh, ITU gaze tracker. This is a system developed at the ITU University of Copenhagen by Javier San Agustin and Martin Toll mainly. It's an open source system that strives for, to provide low cost, high quality eye tracking using off the shelf components. So as opposed, for example, to commercial systems that usually cost in the order of 10,000, 14,000 euros. Mm, this system can be uh, built by less than 50 euros using a low, um, a, like a low quality web camera that simply lacks an infrared filter so it can uh, get images in the infrared spectrum and also some uh, infrared lights to improve image contrast and also to provide a green reference in the pupil so the eye tracking algorithms can work. So this setup, as you can see, is very simple and it only costs uh, around 50 euros. So anyone can build uh, this setup and play with this technology at home. And the system that I'm going to present to you is a gaze gesture system. Basically, it consists of performing sequences of eye movements in order to con generate control commands for the computer. Because in I, within the gaze tracking technology, there's usually the problem, which is called the Midas touch problem. That is the difficulty for any gaze tracking application to distinguish whether a user is looking at an object to interact with it or just to uh, gather information from it. So there's this constraint to differentiate pointing for, from interaction, and there's the need of, of additional forms of interaction within uh, the gaze interaction research area. And hence, this uh, gaze gesture recognition system that works in remote mode as opposed to some previous work that we have done in which we have shown the, how this system works using head-mounted uh, eye tracking system. The remote eye tracking system is much more comfortable for the user since there's no head uh, hardware uh, or and it allows a certain amount of movement of the head so it's more comfortable and more natural to interact with the computer in this way. So without further ado, I'm going to start this demonstration about the gaze gestures. So I simply launch the gaze tracker um, application. Um, as I mentioned before, this is an open source application. You can download it, look at the code and modify it to suit your own needs. And um, I'm just going to set up the, the parameters. The, um, the system is recognizing pretty well my pupil. Um, this is why the, these infrared uh, lights are used to improve image contrast. So here the pupil is easy to distinguish from the iris. Uh, these two lights here are the glints, the reflections of the infrared lights that are used by the algorithms for reference during calibration. And as you can see, I'm getting pretty robust tracking of those two features. So, Without further ado, I'm going to go to the calibration procedure in which basically I will have to look to a point that is moving on the screen and uh, the algorithm calculate the distance from the center of the pupil to this, the average position of these two glints and from that um, second degree uh, polynomial is 
calculated from which later on interpolation can be used to extract gaze uh, coordinates when we are interacting with a computer. So let's do the calibration. So as you can see, this is a pretty good calibration. Um, it's around 0 0.3, 0 0.5 degrees accuracy. So now I can interact with the computer through gaze. I can point at items just by looking at them. But there's this difficulty of providing additional control commands or distinguishing uh, pointing from uh, interaction uh, desires. So this is where these uh, gaze gestures come in. And um, I will perform a test run in which I'm going to perform these 10 gaze gestures in the order from uh, the top left uh, to bottom right. And uh, let's start to perform the gestures. First of all, I'm going to perform a C, just by performing a sequence of eye movements in which I look at the bottom, uh, top right corner, and then I perform a quick C. And the gesture, as you can see, it has been correctly recognized as a C. Now I'm going to perform the next gesture, which is a U. Okay, and recognition was pretty good. So now I'm going to show you another way of performing these gestures in order to improve accuracy, although we will sacrifice uh, velocity. So the, this concept consists of performing a sequence of uh, gaze movements, but um, signaling the beginning and the end of the gesture with a dwell time. A dwell time is just fixa fixating uh, for a amount of time that exceeds a threshold on a certain point on the screen and that indicates the algorithm, the recognition system that um, you are trying to mark the beginning or the end of the gesture and the system provides feedback to the user with a small beep so he can know when this uh, threshold, time threshold has been exceeded and um, well this way of performing the gaze gestures is uh, slower but since you are signaling to the algorithm the beginning and the end of the gesture it is much easier for it to recognize so accuracy is better so it's always a trade-off between speed and accuracy there. so i start the experiment and you will see that the system provides me with a small beep to signal that this uh, dual time detection uh, or that this dual time threshold has been exceeded so I begin, I'm going to start also with a C. This beep is to signal that the dwell time had been exceeded, both at the beginning and the end of the gesture. The C was correctly recognized, now I'm going to do a U, beginning and end. Also correctly recognized. And
Okay. So with this, I complete this presentation about uh, our this gesture recognition engine. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you very much. <laughs>